Well, first of all, I appreciate your time and uh, it's, it's an honor to meet you both. I really loved this movie. I mean, it was probably my favorite movie that I've seen this year. Thank, Thank you. you. Of course, my favorite scene is the scene at Moonrise Kingdom where you both kiss for the first time. What was it like preparing for that scene and shooting it? We kind of prepared like the dialogue stuff, uh, but we we didn't really prepare the kiss itself or like the dancing or any of that because Wes right. wanted it to be really authentic. Uh huh. That was like the last thing that we filmed together was that that scene. That really? Scene. So you guys were yeah. very much buddies at that point. And it was a lot of fun to film. It was fun dancing the way I did. <laughs> the little that's right, the yeah, dance the little... that you did. What was it like working with Wes? Oh, Wes is so brilliant and kind and just an amazing person. He's like one of the few true artists out there, really. This is the island of New Penzance. 16 miles long, forested with old growth pine and maple. Oh, of course, you've had a really storied career. You wrote the McGraw series of children's books. I did. Okay. Yes. When you read the script, what about this story called out to you? At the heart of the movie, this relationship between the two kids and the relationship with Bill Murray and Francis McDormand and Bruce Willis is a very honest, accurate portrayal of relationships, which you don't expect to find in the middle of a confection like this. What am I looking at? He does watercolors. I can't separate Wes from the movie. It's like he managed to get his heart and soul up there on You're the You're right, there's never a maudlin moment in this movie. When do you movie? know a movie about two kids falling in love or a 12 that wouldn't be like, you know. You're Captain Sharp. That's correct. I'm social services. I remanded the boy into your personal custody. You're responsible for his safety. I'm told that he's just been struck by lightning. It's the first I've heard of it. It's true. Did you and Wes collaborate to evolve this character into what we saw? It, it, it was very much on the page, whatever it was. And certainly in Wes's head it was. And I'm very eager as an actor if people have things to offer me, like, you'll be carrying this thing and you'll be releasing the balloon. I'm thrilled because I wouldn't have thought of that. I didn't, I would have never occurred to me any of that. So when a director has a clear vision and you like his vision and he presents it to you in a way that you really want to, you know, fulfill his vision, it's a dream. Walt, where the hell are you? Right here. Why are you cursing it? Does it concern you that your daughter has just run away from home? That's a loaded question. It's an honor for me to be able to uh, sit here today with you. You wrote this script with Roman Coppola, and it's a really inventive and interesting script. Where did you come up with the idea for it? The first impulse was I wanted to have to tell a story that was that was going to conjure up the feeling of falling in love when you're a fifth grader. The events of the story are from our imaginations. But the feeling is something I, I remember very clearly, and, and the expedition they go on is, that was my fantasy from that time. Do you love each other? Yes, we do. But, but think about what I'm saying. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, we are. Okay, they're not listening to me. Let me rephrase it. Oh, we're in a hurry. Are you chewing? Spit out the gum, sister. In fact, everybody. I don't like the snappy attitude. Why did you decide to set this in the 60s? I feel like the kind of island world, sort of Norman Rockwell setting, <laughs> right. uh, that where the movie takes place, it, it doesn't quite exist that way anymore. Scouting used to be in the middle of the culture. Right. The period that comes right after when this movie happens is really when it all changed. Um, by the time these kids are 18, they're going to be in a very different America. If you should go halfway today and halfway tomorrow, since you're a less experienced tiger and you're wearing Sunday school shoes. They're not really Sunday school shoes. Oh, thank you. The ending of this movie, at least for me, was more thrilling than The Hunger Games and The Avengers combined. Oh, thank you. What was it like filming that scene in the pouring rain? Obviously, you're on some sort of set filming that, but what were the challenges in that? It was just so much fun. It was so exciting. Really, it was fun. It was getting all the rain and the thunder. Well, I mean, wow. it was like it was like an entertainment. Who cares? We're having fun. If we find him, I'm not going to be the one who forgot to bring a weapon. Hmm. Me neither.